Oh, I hope this one goes up. Uh, this will be tape three about Richville and what they're doing to me here with. And I'm just showing Larry Flint because he flew me up there. I did a book on um, medical malpractice and mind control and programming in 77, 78. And the man that shot Larry Flint in Lawrenceville, Georgia, was programmed to shoot him and kill his attorney. And um, Mr. Flint uh, flew me up there in uh, a political campaign. And uh, anyway, um, I'm going to continue with the rich field. This will be tape three. This woman totally lied. This is Section 8. If Eric Holder is so easy attorney general, I think he should uh, check some of this out. He, they were Johnny on the spot with the uh, Martin uh, young man. Uh, not that that was a bad thing, but I'm 75 years old, and who I am and what's been done to me, the laws, is so appalling. The more it's left uncorrected, the more they want to cover it up. Um Trayvon Martin was his name, by the way. And I had the attorney general and the president and national media and everything, Johnny, on the spot. But anyway, Allison has told me in the letter, and she's told a lie about the abandoned property. What really happened was I finally had to leave. They wouldn't correct the chemicals being used and all this. It was already pre prearranged. Um uh, Well, I hope this is still going. Oh, I think it is. Uh, so they didn't fix it, and I had to leave. And that's what I was told about the urgent care when they took me, the ambulance took me there rather than the emergency room. Uh, the doctor I didn't get to see was, but that was his specialty, was chemicals. And the doctor that saw me was very nice, and, and he was the one, which I really knew anyway, that I'd just have to leave. I knew that. There's no cure. And you get so sick that you're lying helpless, and you don't know what's going to happen to you. I mean, it, it's so appalling. It's, it's unreal, and it's been done in plain sight to me. Now then, um, the monitor lady on the floor I was on, this was all prearranged before I got there. With the management, this woman, Allison, that's denied me now and lied, and this is a Section 8 federal. Uh, the woman on second floor were her sister and she and her church, Methodist Church in Salem here, Roanoke, Salem, had gotten together with uh, some people in the church who donated uh, a few things to put in this small studio apartment. I'm getting gas, and I lived there as long as I could, and I had to break the lease, and this woman is a party, Allison, who just wrote this letter and lied. Um, I went to her. I made the arrangement. She wouldn't correct the gases and all that, said she didn't, didn't know where it was coming from, blah, blah. She lied. Uh, so I went to her, and I gave notice. I also went to her when I made arrangements for the very woman who lived on the floor with me. She and her sister made the deal to bring the furniture out there from the Methodist church, put it together, the few things, to have it removed. And I was going to go ahead and leave two days earlier, and they were going to have the church come out and get the thing. Now then, I found out after I left that this was all put together, the church, the whole deal, uh, before I moved in, and really the things the church made up, the little bit of furniture and stuff, I bought a couple of things myself, were on loan from the church, not given to me. They were told I would leave. They, they knew the whole thing. So when they came to pick it up, and they did, I had uh, made arrangements with the sister, the woman that lived on the floor with me, the monitor, and with this woman, Allison, who's manager, who's now, which she was a party to it now, has used the fact that I left, it, and she's calling it abandoned uh, property, and um, she kept part of my um, security deposit. Let me say this again. I had made arrangements, give my notice. 
she knew I'd made arrangements with the woman on the second floor, which this whole thing was arranged before I went there. But I even, as sick as I was, and I'm the one getting the law broken against me, it's assault, it's a conspiracy, joining into a conspiracy. And you don't get one piece of the truth here on this. It's like the rest of it with a background check. Now then, I told the monitor woman who her church was going to come and pick up the furniture for uh, one of their uh, persons. Their son was going off to college and could use it. So it really was on the loan. I'll say that again. So this was all okay and everything. I made sure with them. I didn't get it in writing. If I did, I've lost it. I can't carry everything. Um, but then the furniture was removed, and it was given to one, the son of the very church that loaned it to me, I should say, is the correct terminology for it. Uh, so now here she's, and, and by the way, the deal made that I made sure, and I went back more than once, the monitor lady was going to have the church pick it up, and I had bought a, a nice sofa and I think a kitchenette that was secondhand, but it uh, wasn't like the sofa. It was nice. Oh, there was a chair, a lounge chair. Uh, they had been donated to me, but I was going to give it to her, and I was going to give her the sofa I paid for, and the church was going to get the rest. And she was going to make sure that um, the place was clean, my apartment was clean. So this was all okay with Allison Sanford here, who's just, lied on this letter and uh, told me that I was not welcome back. Um, told a total lie about the abandoned property and leaving the unit. She left out the gas thing, assuming me the fact that this was arranged and okay and uh, I had to leave because of what they were doing to me. You don't see any of this and she, I had to um, send a background check, criminal background check suddenly and credit history to her as I did one of the others, where they readily took me in when the cop took me, he was with the law enforcement, took me there to be gassed and all this happened to me. My body has been ripped apart. It is beyond belief what they have done. The people of this country have allowed to and enjoyed having done to me. There's no law. Just like, I'm going to read this one more time. Um, at its best, man is the noblest of all animals, separated from law and justice. He's the worst by Aristotle. 